All right, today I'm going to be talking about one of the few mods that I've checked out for Mountain Blade Warband. And today's mod is Fantasy Calradia. I took a look at three different mods that, well, kind of caught my attention. And out of the three, I would say that Fantasy Calradia is probably my favorite in quite a few ways and of course I'll be I'll be getting into that later on you'll see why so in the character creation there's you know a few uh, things that have been changed around you can select actually your race that you would like to play as because I should probably explain it now rather than later so the modders, instead of kind of creating their own universe, I guess you could say, with its own lore, they actually took in adapted lore from the Forgotten Realms uh, stuff <laughs> that's in Dungeons and Dragons, which, hey, you know, that's it's it's fine with me because. It's, it's what modders do. They do whatever they want, you know. It's, you know, it, it, I, I will say that it's well done, you know, as, as far as uh, the, the lore and, you know, all the different classes and stuff that you can... I mean, I, I'm making it sound like there's like a plethora of classes to choose from in this mod, and it's really not. But, you know, it, it, the lore from the Forgotten Realms stuff is quite quite well adapted and transferred I guess you could say to Calradia which is cool you know I'm I'm for it I will say one thing right now when you create your character always make sure well, you, you, even leveling up your character always make sure that you put points in to magic defense because when you start this game out and it's kind of a normal thing for Mountain Blade games and, and mods even that you get raped basically early game uh, this mod <laughs> even more so you get you get thrashed about pretty pretty good uh, especially by especially by magic users and that's another thing I wanted to get into the mod I don't know if you already guessed or not, but it's added uh, mechanics to the game, uh, both on the map and in combat. Um, I'm not going to get into really the, the changes that they made on the map. Um, not the, the less important ones, I guess you could say, but uh, the ones in battle is what I wanted to talk about. You can cast spells in the form of uh, throwing, okay? It's highly recommended that you put points in a throwing if you want to create a spellcasting character. Just thought I'd throw that out there. And the spells, well, most of the spells, the mage spells are thrown, like throwing weapons, <laughs> like javelins and throwing knives and shit like that. So obviously you're going to want to level up that skill. And... Then there's cleric spells, which aren't thrown except for one of them. <laughs> but um, the cleric spells typically, you know, don't require any kind of uh, skill to use other than, you know, the skill required to learn those spells. And, you know, my opinion on, on this mechanic is I think it works well. The, the, the mage spells add a certain difficulty to the game and, and, and it kind of makes the game last longer you know what I mean not the game itself but the difficulty and it makes the difficulty last longer because in most mountain blade games even the mods I find that once you get to a certain level the game becomes extremely easy um, and, you know, that's to some extent that's the case with this mod. Um, 
which I don't think can be, you know, I don't, I don't think it can be avoided a lot of times, but it's, you know, it, it, it makes things interesting uh, for longer in this mod, which is, you know, it's a good thing, in my opinion. It's, it's kind of bumpy sometimes, you know what I mean? And I think in terms of like, when, when you're in a siege, I, I think that maybe you could be deployed in a manner that when the mages on the walls throw a fucking spell at you, it one shot to you and like 50 of your guys, which is something that can happen. Uh, like, like right when you spawn in, uh, that probably should be rectified. And I know that they're not finished with this mod, but you know, it's just, it's just my opinion. You know what I mean? But yeah, that mechanic in in itself is, is probably the defining difference about this mod. That in the lore that I already explained. And what else is new? Well, there's new factions, which is cool. And there is tons of units. I really like the units in the game. And I, I think they did a pretty darn good job. Uh, attempting to balance the the units at least you know it, I know that stuff is hard to do you know hard to, to iron out the kinks and uh, stuff like that but you know I think they did pretty well um, you know the fantasy Calradia for all intents and purposes um, <laughs> it's more complete than complete mods that I've seen for other games, you know what I mean? And and they're still working on it, you know? So that's that's just something I wanted to throw out there <laughs> because, uh, yeah, I've seen some pretty, some pretty nasty mods. Uh, some bad things about the mod, well, it likes to use, well, it likes to force you to use uh, shit tons of units at the same time, especially on sieges. So what I recommend is don't <laughs> don't uh, call up you know all the people in your kingdom you know to go on campaign because uh, if you do it even if you have a pretty you know pretty decent computer <laughs> it's just gonna come slowing down to a crawl like a really bad crawl uh, that's my biggest gripe with the game is or the mod rather is the performance aspect. It's, uh, I don't know if it's the textures or anything like that. Like, I, I, I've never had any problems uh, with vanilla, you know, having tons and tons of units on the screen at once, even adjusting the, uh, the, the battle limit. Uh, but you can't adjust the battle limit in this, which is kind of annoying, you know. I, I, I kind of like to play, like, a smaller battle, you know. Um, and it, it makes sieges really, really <laughs> iffy. That, and then there's another one that bothers me even more, where you defeat a kingdom. Like, for example, I defeated the kingdom of Swadia. Okay. Took all of their castles. There was only one village left. Only a village, because uh, King Harlaus decided not to hand out a thief uh, to uh, one of his his lords uh, so one of the villages remained and I wasn't able to defeat the kingdom making the game impossible to complete <laughs> so other than that um, Fantasy Gauradia is a mod that I highly recommend that you all check out it's really fun uh, adds adds lots of cool little features uh, that kind of you know kind of make you wish that they were in vanilla to to begin with, but you know hey, whatever. So yeah, check it out. Fantasy Calradia 2018.